When we read uh, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25, um, there's an important truth that comes through and uh, it's, uh, it's about exhortation. Hebrews 10 verse 25, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching. That word exhortation uh, in the Greek, it talks about someone who comes alongside to urge, to plead, to beseech, uh, beseech you to take some or beseech me to take some kind of corrective action. So that's the word exhortation. This was actually used by, by the military leaders before they sent their troops into battle. So they would summon the troops, uh, they will talk straight, they will give them a very straightforward talk about the pains of battle, the loss of battle, uh, about the hardships that they are about to face in battle and the many difficulties that they are going to face. But also they would talk about the victories and the glories that await them uh, when, they, when they come out as victors uh, after the battle. So they would in fact urge, they would plead, they would beseech them, beseech the troops to, to look, at, look far ahead and see the victory and almost taste the victory that is there. So it was a military term. So we as believers, as we walk by faith, we face spiritual conflicts and uh, we face battles. So as we assemble together as the church, you know, it is our responsibility to exhort uh, fellow believers. It is our responsibility to, um, to plead, to beseech, to urge our fellow believers to, as, even as they go through battle, even as we go through battles collectively, spiritual conflicts, to, uh, to talk about, yes, you know, this is the uh, this is the prize of being in a battle. This is the prize of, the, of being in a journey as believers, but also talk about the sweetness of the victory, but also talk about the, the victory that awaits uh, on the other side of the battle. So we plead, we urge, and we, and we beseech our believers to look at that. So um, like this scripture, uh, it, it uh, encourages us to exhort one another. So let there be heartfelt, passionate words of, ex, uh, of encouragement exchanged uh, between believers in the church. Let's pray. Father, we, we want to thank you that you've called us to be encouragers. We thank you that you've placed us in the body so that we might speak the, and declare words of exhortation to one another. And I pray God, even as we rise up as an army, that we would plead, urge and beseech one another to look at the battle that's ahead but also look at the victory that awaits we pray that you would cause us to be encouragers we pray that the church would rise up encouraged and exhorted we thank you in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org